Hey, Rose. I'm at St. Goretti High. What's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? It's the mansion, silly. I'm here and you're late. Jeez, we're on shift together. You promised. Oh my god, please don't tell me you forgot. You were planning on leaving me to check this place out on my own, weren't you? You chickened out! Calm down. You know I take my promises seriously. I'd like to believe that. So hurry up and get here. This place is huge. A bit too quiet since no one's lived here since, like, forever, but beautiful nonetheless. Why are you so surprised? This isn't the first time you've been there. I know. I just wish I could live in a place like this. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Not after the rumors that say it's haunted. Jeez, never mind those rumors. Ghosts aren't real after all. You don't know that! They might be listening or watching right now, and they might not be happy with you enough to curse you. Right. You know, not every property we sell will end up with a dead body stuffed in a sofa. And I think that mansion is where we'll likely find another one. I can feel it. That was one time, Isabella! Loosen up! Wait, just get here ASAP, please. I'm getting bored being here on my own. Who was that? Oh, that? It's just Rose. The one who trained you. You're working together again? Just for this property. We've been scoping out that big mansion down in Anselm Village after the renovations. Today is sort of its grand opening to the public. The RC wants to give it one last check before we let potential buyers tour it this afternoon. Hold on. Is this the same mansion you've been telling everyone about? Didn't you keep saying how it just gave you the creeps? You actually went there? And you're going back? Well, I did promise Rose I wouldn't ditch her. And besides, a job is a job. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing! It's just that I didn't expect you to say that. Coming from you, it sounds so... out of character. I mean, no offense, but you've been freaking out ever since you got assigned to it. I honestly thought you'd back out. Not all the time. I could really use a huge amount of cash right now, and this is just the fastest way to get it. Plus, listen to this. Briar Realty wants it sold as soon as possible, and the agent who lands the deal is going to get a huge bonus! They never give bonuses like that. Getting that would make life so much easier. They're desperate, I'm desperate, it's perfect. You know, if you're really in urgent need of money, you could have just asked me. Or Ashton, who we can always let you borrow, and you can pay us back whenever. Becca, I've noticed that you've been living off instant noodles these past few weeks. Stop eating junk! They're cheap, but they're not good for you. You'll definitely end up in the hospital if you keep at it. Hey! I eat other things too.
That's not going to work on me. And I saw it when you were cleaning your flat last week. The instant noodle cups outnumber everything else. You're just exaggerating. Did you even see what's in my cupboard yet? I'm not just living on instant noodles alone. I've got canned beans, peas, tuna, ham, and even hamburgers in there. the same ones you won from the grocer's raffle more than a year ago? Oh, I sincerely hope you're checking the date stamps on those things before eating them. I don't want a repeat of last year. In any case, those are still not exactly healthier choices, Belle. What am I going to do with you? I hope you know that it's impossible not to worry about you when you're like this. You don't have to keep eating the same thing. <laughs> Didn't I tell you before? You're always free to reheat my leftovers. Thanks, Becca. I really appreciate it, but you don't need to keep babying me. You've been taking care of me since after I moved here. You have to take a break sometime. And before you ask again, no. You know I'm not a fan of borrowing money. And I'm not going to ask you to give me what you earned hard for yourself. Ugh, ah, you and your pride. But suit yourself. The offer stays on the table, though. Well, enough chit-chat. Lunch is ending, and my students will be back any minute. Good luck with your clients. You better treat us to lunch or something if you get that sale. You bet!
Rose? Guess again. Ash. Bingo. Hey, what's up? Just checking if you're still cool later this evening. You mean that thing with Zack? Yeah. He even called in the middle of the night just to remind me. No, don't worry. I didn't forget. I'll be there. Cool. I'll see you later. What time do you get off? Around 5, 6 p.m.? I don't know. It's the first day of the Ermengarde Mansion's open house, and we're expecting quite a number of potential buyers. I'll be booked the whole afternoon. Ermengarde Mansion? On your own? Yeah, well, Rose is already there, but yeah. I see. Looks like the scaredy cat finally toughened up. Shut up! <laughs> I'll see you later. Drop me a call when you're done. I'll see if I can pick you up. Whatever. Bye. Planning to go inside that place, Missy. Is there something wrong? Look, Missy, I'm sure you've heard what the people are telling everyone about that place. I admit they did a good job fixing it up, but there must have been a reason why even distant relatives of the family who used to own the house never lived in there despite inheriting it. M maybe they just didn't like it? You never know. Rose? Rose? Rose, I'm here. I'm here. Where, are Where are you? The number you have dialed has not been recognized. Please check and try again.
The number you have dialed has not been recognized. Please check and try again. Rose? If you can hear me, please come out. Come on, Rose! This isn't funny! You know this place gives me the creeps? The hell? the hell? Rose? Rose? Rose, is that, is that you? Not funny. Not funny. I'm leaving you if you don't come out. Come out. Not coming out, huh? Out, huh? Fine. I'm going. I'm going. Hello? Hello? Rose, I'm here at the mansion. Where the hell are you? Rose, come on. Where are you? I'm... Attic. What? The attic? Why?
Huh? What's this? A letter? Send this to five people or else. Or else what? Or else what? No? Oh, please, no.
No. Go away. Five more minutes, Becca.
Right, Isabella, where are we? The Ermengarde Mansion. Why? Ow, my head. And the date today? October 21st? Rose. Last one. Can you count to 15 in reverse order? 15, 14, 13, 12 teen? No, that's wrong. Why are we doing this? She's just checking if your injury is in any way serious. Do it, please. <sighs> you scared me for a moment there. I was about to call for an ambulance. Are you all right? Someone, Rose. In the attic. Someone? You mean a client? Oh, that's unlikely. It's probably just one of the cleaning crews. The boss sent a few of them back this morning for some last minute... No, not any of those. They're... Ugh. I'm not actually sure. Wait, didn't I call you? You said you were in the attic when you answered. That's why I went there in the first place. As much as I'd love to have gotten at least a heads up of your arrival, I didn't really get a call from you. You know, signal here is absolutely horrendous. I was in the garden earlier and couldn't even make a single call. Isabella, I'm going to ask again. Are you really alright? What happened? I... I don't know. It's all a bit blurry. I remember I was looking for you, but you weren't in the attic. And... and there's... whoever it is. Then I must have tripped on a rug or something on the way down. Oh. Oh no. Do you think someone came in while you were out? You left the main door open! We are so going to get into big trouble if something gets stolen, Rose! Perhaps it is a concussion. Are you sure you feel fine? We could still call for an ambulance. I could cover for you. No, I'm fine. I'm okay, Rose. I can work. Besides, if I leave, you'll have to shoulder everything in the open house. Alone. And in a mansion this big? See? I'm A-OK! -okay.
All right, you in. But if I see that you aren't feeling well, I'm taking you personally to the nearest clinic to have you checked. Clear? Clear as day, ma'am. Thanks, Rose. You insisted. But remember what I said. First sign of you looking not okay, and we're off. No questions asked. It's just a small bump. Don't worry. You shouldn't downplay these kinds of things. It could be a serious injury for all we know. <clears throat> My sincerest apologies, Mrs. Miss. Miss McCulloch. Marianne McCulloch. Miss McCullough, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We're just ironing out a few things, but we'll be starting the tour soon enough. In the meantime, we've prepared some refreshments for you in the parlor while you're waiting. If you could- Thanks. There's no need for it, though. I just dropped by for a quick survey of the place. I thought I should check the estate before I meet with the homeowners. I'm sorry. Homeowners? Yes. Hannah Wright? I was hired by her to handle the interior design for their newly bought home. This is the Ermengarde Mansion, right? It is, but... It is, ma'am, but we weren't aware the mansion has already been sold. What do you mean? The mansion is indeed for sale, ma'am. Today's the open house, in fact. However, we haven't heard anything from the higher-ups that a deal has already been closed for this particular property. I if you'd like, my co-agent and me can check with them right now. I thought something looked odd when I arrived here. Excuse me, I think I need to make a call to my secretary. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Santos.
there seems to have been a little misunderstanding with my client. If you'll allow it, I'd like to stay and wait for them here. I was informed they'll be dropping by for the open house today. I figured it'd be a waste to just leave after that long drive. I might as well meet him here. Certainly. You could stay at the parlor in the meantime, ma'am. I'm sure it won't be long before our guests arrive. And Isabella? I left a few documents in my car. You know where I keep those. Can you please get it for me? And hurry! We've still got a few minutes to double-check those papers. Okay, got it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We'll be taking a tour of the mansion in two groups. Please make sure you've filled up our sign-in forms before joining a specific group. Those who want to look around the first floor, please follow my partner. I'll be guiding the ones who wish to see the ground floor. Chief Inspector Lee mentioned that a famous interior designer is in town. I knew I had to get you. Your confidence in my skills is very flattering, ma'am. I'm sure you won't disappoint, Marianne. Oh, you know each other? Not at all, ma'am. You mentioned something about a Marianne on our way here, darling? Oh... Yes, I think I did.
Some of the furnishings here are actually the 17th century originals, all of which have undergone a painstaking restoration process just to return its original beauty. Even the glass... thing. Colorful ones. Oh, I don't know, but you get the idea, I hope. Especially that one, ma'am. It is said to be a gift commissioned by the fiancé of Lady Charlotte Ermengarde. The mansion's current owners have specifically requested that the restoration crew take great care in handling it. It's a priceless work of art and the most distinctive feature of the mansion. Isn't this place wonderful, darling? I told you it's not a total waste of your time. I don't know. Isn't it a bit too small? We might have to break a wall down to have more room. Well, I think it is just right. Don't you think so, Marianne? It is splendid, ma'am. But isn't it a little too early to make plans when no deal has been signed yet? Never mind that. It isn't going to be a problem. We've got a wonderful legal team to handle everything. Start taking notes, though. I think I've got a few things I want changed before we move in. The highlight of the room, however, is what's underneath this hatch here. Oh, don't say anything yet! An underground wine cellar! Yes, sir. It could house around 7,000 to 11,000 bottles of wine. Truly. And the room? How was it built? The bricks that were used to build the cellar had been carefully picked for the purpose of maintaining and preserving a constant temperature and humidity in the room. It's a good place to keep your private collection in if you have one, sir. It keeps the corks in good condition. Oh, love. Didn't you say before that you wanted to make your own personal vineyard? Perhaps you could start one here. You know we're going to need space for that, darling. If it's space you're worried about, sir, the Ermengarde Mansion sits on a 46-acre lot. There's plenty of room for it. We were told that the original owners had a horse stable built here before, too.
excuse me? Everyone? We... We will be taking a 15-minute rest here before we visit the first floor. In the meantime, please help yourselves to the refreshments and snacks we've prepared. If anyone has any questions, feel free to approach me. I'd be happy to help you. Having to show a group around a mansion this big must be exhausting. Not a problem, ma'am. I'm just doing my job. What a hard worker. Anyway, Isabel, right? Isabella, actually. But yes, what can I help you with, ma'am, right? Please, just Hana. Call me Hana. I just wanted to ask, how soon are we able to move in? Wait, ma'am, I... you see... But we haven't even negotiated a price yet, ma'am. We haven't even finished touring the rest of the mansion. A sale would be great and all, but... Oh, please, sweetie, don't insult me. Money is not a problem. And, just between you and me, this place is better off with us than with some old lady who will probably just fill it up with cats. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with having cats here, ma'am, Hana. I'm sure there's more than enough space here if you want pets. Well, I'm more of a dog person. But you see, this is going to be a gift to my darling. It's going to be our anniversary soon, and it would be so wonderful if you can secure its purchase for us. Why, I can even offer something extra if you help us out with the paperwork. I... we actually have a process for this, ma'am. I don't really think that would be necessary... or appropriate. And just what are you two lovely ladies talking about here? leaving me and our lovely interior designer to talk here by ourselves. <laughs> what would the people think, darling? Oh, it's just small talk, love. I was asking if she could help me with the paperwork. Uh, uh, yeah, I can give you a fact sheet and a form to fill out. Wonderful. And Marianne, I'd really love to talk to you about those changes. You took some notes earlier, yes? I did, ma'am. But I really hope that this time... Excellent. Hopefully you can help us out too, Isabel. Isabella. Right, right. It's a lovely name, Isabel. It's Isabella. Yes, that's great. We'll be more than happy to put in a good word to your superiors too, and... What's this? That's, uh, an interesting work of art. Not to my taste, though. I'm sorry. Darling, buttercup, art is a complete overstatement for this garbage. It looks like a cheap prop from a D-list horror film. Shush, love. Let the girl do what she pleases with, uh, what do they call this? Oh, forget about it. At the very least, it's not as dreadful as the one art exhibit I was forced to attend last month. You should have seen it, Marianne. Even you would have been appalled. But I'm sure you'll know what to do with our walls once we get started. I highly doubt it is as bad as you say, ma'am. Nevertheless, you can be assured that my team will only pick whatever suits your tastes. 
Nothing of this chain letter sort, of course. It has to always work with a pallet. I'm quite sure chain letters these days don't come in this... form. That's good to hear. See, darling, isn't she an absolute delight to work with? I can't wait to see how this place will look when she's done with it. Oh, you don't have to tell me that, Buttercup. I would still put it away if I were you, though. Otherwise, people might get the wrong impression. Anyway, as I was saying... Isabella? Isabella? Are you all right? You're looking pale. I didn't know. I... Rose... I... 